I've been doing many uh, fishing videos for you guys here lately. We've been in a real, real bad cold spell here. Um, and it's just been kind of tough to get out and do some fishing. Had a bunch of snow and stuff. It's just been bad. But I'm hoping that's going to change shortly here. Maybe next weekend. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do an unboxing here. A new product I just got. It is the K-Drill. And it's for an electric um, cordless drill. And uh, basically I bought this because I have a hand auger. It's a six inch hand auger and that works great, early ice. You're cranking on that handle all day, uh, drilling those holes out. Um, I find it just, uh, it makes you not want to drill more holes basically because you, you get worn out uh, with that fairly easily. Um, so I have a big jiffy auger. I've been kind of exploring the electric auger scene a little bit here the last couple of years and I finally um, got one so I'm going to show you what, I'm, what I've got here. Uh, before I go any further all the stuff uh, in this video will be linked in the description below so you can find it easily if you want this set up or uh, anything we're talking about today. So here's the box here and I got the 8 inch model. Um, 6 inch would have been probably just fine for most of my situations but I figured why not get the 8 inch? Let's take it out of here. Get right down to it. Put this stuff off. Got the instruction manual here, the user's manual. Get that cardboard out. That's it, that's all that's in there, I think. Yep, okay. There it is. That's the 8 inch K drill. That's your chuck that tightens right down to the end of the drill there. This foam piece is just a float. Um, if you're drilling out a hole and this happens to come loose from your drill and drop down into the hole, this float is supposed to keep it from sinking to the bottom of the lake, so <laughs> um, that's a probably good thing to keep on there. Uh, it comes with a nice little, uh, seems like a pretty nice little uh, cover here. Take that off, show you what the blade looks like. And so this is one of the reasons why I picked this thing up, why I chose this over um, some of the other electric drill augers. If you look at those blades on there, those are actually chipper blades. And if you've ever owned or used a hand auger, you know that the blades are actually uh, more of a, a round, smooth, almost like a knife edge type blade. Um, and that's great for using for a hand dog or you're spinning it pretty slowly. Um, but with the higher RPMs of the drill, um, these chipper blades are designed to work for those higher RPMs. And uh, so that way you're not going to get as much torque on your drill and you're also going to get more battery life out of your drill and overall life of the drill. So um, I was actually looking at a different brand um, before I picked this one up and because I had used one that a buddy had and I noticed it had a lot of torque. Uh, you would put the drill on there and you'd spin your drill your hole out and the whole thing would just want to spin on you and that puts a lot of stress on the motor on that uh, on that drill and I assume that it probably kills the battery a little faster so um, this is supposed to, those chipper blades are supposed to help that out a little bit there um, and just make it a little bit easier on your drill so it's got a uh, plastic flighting here you see they they're, they lose a little bit but they say it's unbreakable or, and it looks like it's really well built um, so yeah I mean there's not much not a lot more to say about it. It's very, very light, and in a little while we're going to weigh this with the drill on and see what it weighs compared to my gas auger. So I'll show you what the drill is that I'm using here. So this was actually my Christmas present. The Milwaukee Fuel M18 drill. It's a hammer drill. So you got the drill. It comes with a handle, and 
comes with an extra battery. There's already a battery on the drill here and then a charger. Another reason I like this drill was that uh, it shows, if you push this button here, it shows you what the battery life is, uh, which I haven't charged these at all yet, so I would expect there to be hardly any battery life in there, which is what it shows. And the battery is actually a little bit bigger. It's a 5 amp hour battery, and there's two of them. Um, one thing that uh, they recommend is to take the battery off and keep it in your jacket or keep it somewhere where it's not going to get cold just so it lasts longer. But uh, I'm going to put this handle on the drill here and then we'll attach it to the auger see how, how that works. I assume it's pretty easy. And you just turn the handle to tighten it onto the drill. Make sure it's all the way back here. And you want to have your drill on the lower setting. So number one there and then you want to have it set to drill mode. Open up the chuck all the way. Just put it in reverse and hold this black thing. Right. Slide that on there. Get it a little tight. Crank that tight. You can hear that. You can hear that ratchet in there nice and tight. And now we are hooked up to the drill. Sweet. This is the Milwaukee Fuel M18 drill. That's the one everybody recommends to get if you can afford it. They say with this, when you use it, you should clear the hole um, every five seconds or so. So you want to be drilling for five seconds and then pull up and then go back down so it clears the snow out of the hole. And I assume that's just to, to save the life of your, of your drill so it's not working so hard through that snow and slush and stuff. But uh, So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go out to the garage. I got my jiffy out there and I'm going to go weigh that. So we'll go weigh that and we'll come right back. Alright, so uh, I got my scale here. I'm going to attempt to weigh my jiffy here. This is just a uh, two-stroke jiffy model 3500, I believe. And there's no gas in it, so this is just a dry weight. Twenty-nine pounds. So this auger right here, with no gas in it, weighs twenty-nine pounds. Let's go see how much the K drill weighs. A little over eleven pounds. Eleven eighteen, it says. Eleven eighteen. So this guy right here is about uh, right around seventeen pounds lighter than my gas auger. And that was without any gas in it, so it's going to be actually quite a bit heavier with the gas in it. So this thing is just a ton lighter. Uh, it's going to make me uh, a lot more mobile on the ice and uh, hopefully get me on top of some more fish. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, uh, let me know. Stay tuned for some ice fishing videos coming up hopefully in the next couple weeks here. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.